and getting ready for a thousand mile road trip. So we've been tracing down an oil leak all day. Found it in the oil pressure switch on the 1991 ZR1. And we just replaced it with a longer model. Now we're gonna start the car and see if it's still leaking from that oil pressure switch. Got some towels down here just to catch the oil, see if it'll still be leaking. So let's see if it leaks. Welcome to Rise in Arkansas. We are at day two of this road trip. We went, I don't know, about 200, 300 miles today. We've not had one issue on the road. But as you can see, it is raining a little bit. So we've got a little bit of streets, a little bit of dots on here, but the paint, the paint is absolutely immaculate on this entire car. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it looks when we get to Chicago. I have not washed this car since I've left Dallas. So if you need any type of paint detailing or ceramic coating on one of your vehicles and you live in the Dallas area, again, I'm not sponsored, but you got to check out Hearts Luxury Detailing. Yo, this is the first time I've had my ZR1 in the rain. ZR1 is doing some great daily driver duty today. Welcome, welcome back to the ZR1 road trip. We're taking the 1991 ZR1 on a 1,000 mile road trip. So far, we've got about 500 miles down. One of the questions was, what kind of gas mileage do you get on this car? The very first trip we did, we did about 300 miles. We had about 15 miles per gallon. We just filled up. We had 257 miles divided by 14.444 gallons. That turns out right about 18 miles per gallon the second time. Man, y'all got some fun highways in Missouri. Man, I saw a nasty 68 Camaro. Man, that's a cool 68. 68, really cool, man, really cool. Have a good one. That's cool. Could not be cooler, man. It is day three here back on the road trip. We're going from Dallas, Texas to Chicago, Illinois. Now remember, the only reason, the only reason we're going on this road trip from Dallas to Chicago is to get this engine built. That's right, folks, you heard it here first. We are getting this engine built. So right now my LT5 is a 350 cubic inch, completely stock engine. We've got long tube headers and we're pushing about 400 wheel, maybe a little bit less, 380 wheel. So who lives in Chicago that builds engines? I was looking on YouTube. I saw some videos, CR1 Pete. I don't know if y'all know this guy. This guy lives in Chicago. He has a 441 cubic inch C4 Corvette, pushing about 700 horsepower to the wheels. This engine is going to be a beast. We're going to have about 600 horsepower to the crank, but the most important thing is this car is going to be just as fast as the L88. We'll see. We might have to race them. We'll see. We'll see. I know. I know. Why are you building a 1991 ZR1? Like, what's the point? Why not get a C6 or a C7 or the new C8 ZR1? C4 ZR1s are still affordable when you think about really special cars. These cars are going in like the mid 20s to maybe like upper 30s. You really don't see them too high after that. And you still see a lot of them in the teens, honestly. For the price I'd pay for a C601, I could buy two of these 01s and get two of these motors built. 
So it's kind of a no-brainer to me. And plus, I'm just a C4 guy. I like C401s. Now, do I still want a C6, C7, C801? Of course I do. I'm in no rush to get those cars. I'm big on enjoying the cars that I have. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking my ZR1 on a thousand mile road trip from Dallas to Chicago. Pete's gonna build a nasty 391 cubic inch engine. And then I'm gonna drive it home and I'm going to enjoy this car. We're about to have a 600 horsepower ZR1. Let's get on the road. This paint looks immaculate. I have not washed this car since I've left Dallas and I've driven over 600 miles. But look at this, see? I mean, we got some stuff on the bumper, but that's just, of course that's gonna happen. But the paint, the actual paint itself is immaculate. Another thing I've noticed is the gas prices around here. 465 for premium. And of course, I put 93 in all my cars. Okay, so I don't know what y'all are doing up here. Why do y'all have the gas so high up here? Now I will say the only thing I use for gas is an app called Upside. I'll put my link in the description if y'all want to try it out, but I, I'm literally saving 12 cents a gallon on this purchase right here. I think it's worth it, especially when the gas is 465. And if we do the math, we got about 230 miles on that last trip. We just put 14 gallons into the tank. So 230 divided by 14, uh, 16. We got about 16 miles per gallon on that tank. All right, y'all, we still got another two hours until we get to Chicago, but there is some kind of rattle that is driving me crazy. This rattle is driving me crazy, so I have to figure out, I gotta figure out what that is. So we're pulling into, what is this? Home of the great American road trip, Wally's. Now, as a true Texan, I have to say, just going into this, I'm thinking Wally's ain't got nothing on Bucky's, but we'll see, we'll see here in a second. Man, I just had some Wally's ice cream and some Wally nuts, Bucky's. Bucky's, you got some work to do. This cow hood is equally my favorite and least favorite part about this car. It looks amazing, but it is hard to see over. <laughs> Maybe because I'm short. All right, here's the run of the 350. It never gets old, but that is going to feel slow. It's going to feel so slow after 01 p finishes this 391 cubic inch build. I am so, so excited, so excited. Update, we made it to Chicago an hour ago. Chicago traffic absolutely sucks. We're about 20 minutes away from dropping off the ZR1 at Pete's and man, I'm gonna miss this car. Every time I get off of a road trip, I, I fall in love with the car all over again and I'm about to leave it here in Chicago, man. But I know it's gonna be a beast when it's all said and done. just about to do spark plugs and wires on the L88 427, but I just got a call that the tow truck is about to show up with the 401 cubic inch LT5 stroker. So let's go pick up that ZR1, baby. Look 
get that cold start for sure.